WWE 2K19 has seen a lot of omissions from the roster, some more painful than others, but since then a few more superstars have joined the WWE, so let's go through 10 new superstars in WWE 2K20. Danny Burch was mysteriously left off the roster for WWE 2K19, but his tag team partner Oni Lorcan was present in the game. Strange indeed, but the hard-hitting Brit could have opted like a few others last year to not be in the game and decided that he'd wait for a better time to be included. But what's likely is that WWE just decided not to put him in. Shame really. The good news is that it's a lot more likely we'll see him included this year to be partnered with Oni. Maya Yim's signing to the WWE came to rapturous applause in the NXT crowd when they chanted directly at Triple H calling for him to hire her. He graciously decided he would, which was a wise move as the talented Maya is a worthy addition to the NXT roster, albeit one for the future. She hasn't had any significant storylines yet, but with recent call-ups, we should see her shown more frequently. Io Shirai is incredibly talented. There is no one that can say otherwise. Coming second in this year's Mae Young Classic and showcasing her high-flying skills by coming to the aid of fellow Japanese national Kairi Sane, the two having formed a tag team known as the Sky Pirates as well. Io is an incredible addition to the roster and certainly someone that should be included in WWE 2K20 for her great aerial skills. Rhea Ripley was the inaugural WWE UK Women's Champion, having been crowned after a tournament and defeating Tony Storm in the finals. Her new attitude that she displayed during the Mae Young Classic brought an edgier version of the Rhea Ripley that we'd come to know. She was more ruthless and aggressive, which was refreshing. Having the powerful Australian in WWE 2K20 would be a great addition, and I'm looking forward to her inclusion. Keith Lee made his first appearance on April the 5th in 2018 during WrestleMania Access Weekend. And then Lee made an appearance at NXT, defeating Cassius Ono, and then on the 1st of May, it was announced that Lee had signed a contract with WWE. Lee has had a fantastic independent career and is a former PWG champion, and at 320 pounds, the man is incredibly agile and moves like someone much lighter while using his size to power through superstars. He is the living equivalent to a physics equation. Mass times velocity equals momentum, and if anything is to be said about Keith Lee, he should be riding that to the top. Trent Seven along with Tyler Bate were two anticipated superstars that we've been waiting for in WWE 2K18. Sadly, it didn't happen, even though all three of the UK superstars had actually been scanned. But at Insomnia in Birmingham, England, it was announced that not only would Tyler Bate be in WWE 2K19, but the WWE UK Champion Pete Dunne would also be in the game. Sadly omitted was Trent Seven, Tyler Bate's tag team partner in Mustache Mountain. These two captured the NXT tag team belts earlier in the year at the Royal Albert Hall, during the second UK Championship tournament against the Undisputed Era, and yet the two as a tag team were still not put into the game. As we all know, it's not for 2K's one of trying. WWE has the final say on the roster, and Trent himself has even said he wanted to be in. He simply didn't make the cut. Buddy Murphy is the best kept secret, or at least he used to be. He's been putting on displays in 205 Live for some time, and by the time the WWE 2K19 came out, he was a mainstay on that product, showing us what he could do with his athletic ability. He had all the tools to be champion of the brand, and he accomplished that. When WWE 2K19 came out, we saw the roster announced with 205 Live superstars, including Cedric Alexander, Tony Nese, and TJP, but no Buddy Murphy. Hell, even Mike Kanellis and Leo Rush made it into the game over the Cruiserweight Champion. Buddy had even questioned why he wasn't in the game. The end result is WWE had admitted him. But this year, we expect to see the Cruiserweight Champion in the game, especially as his moveset came as DLC later on for WWE 2K19. Tony Storm had been a hit with WWE fans since she first hit the original Mae Young Classic, her style and look immediately catching the eye of many and her in-ring ability shining through. She's been a UK independent scene stalwart for many years, but has also had success outside of the UK, currently holding the WXW Women's Championship in Germany, and is also a former World of Stardom champion in Japan, a title that both Kairi Sane and Io Shirai have both held previous to joining WWE. She currently holds the WWE UK Women's Championship after defeating Rhea Ripley, so seeing a current champion in WWE 2K20 would make sense, and also bring another known name for the UK brand. Matt Riddle is someone that a lot of people didn't think would make it in wrestling. A former MMA fighter, in 2014, he started training for professional wrestling and made unbelievable progress, winning titles across the world, and with the help of Game Changer Wrestling, promoted and competed in his own event, Matt Riddle's Bloodsport, a wrestling take on the movie by Jean-Claude Van Damme. 
Since then, Riddle has become an NXT sensation, taking on Cassius Ono in his debut match and defeating him in quick and easy succession, and now has his sights set on the NXT North American Championship. Matt Riddle has a lot to bring to WWE 2K20 with his MMA moveset and unique persona. We'll likely see him as DLC though. Tommaso Ciampa was left out of WWE 2K19, turning down the opportunity to be in the game. He did at one point tweet out that he didn't want to be in it, playing to his heel character, but quickly deleted the tweet. Probably best as a lot of fans wanted to play as the Sicilian psychopath in WWE 2K20 and continue the epic rivalry between him and Johnny Gargano. The general thoughts were that he turned it down because he wasn't offered enough to be in the game. It's been noted that main roster superstars get paid significantly more in royalties for their likenesses to be in a 2K game, with NXT getting paid a lot less. Champa may have felt he was worth more, or he may well have been playing up to his persona. This year, it's likely we'll see Champa and Goldie return to the franchise in glorious fashion. And that was 10 superstars who could be in WWE 2K20. Who do you want to see out of the most out of these 10? Let me know down in the comments, and if you're new, don't forget to like and subscribe.